target of an FBI raid and that tops our location front found themselves the target of an FBI raid and that tops our look at local headlines. Federal agents served search warrants on the home and business of people who issue press releases for the elf. They seized computers and notes looking for evidence that might be connected to a million dollar arson fire last week at a Eugene car dealership. Those elf representatives or at least their spokespeople say they won't find anything. There were no arrests made today. Losing a loved one is tough. Federal and state investigators took action of their own by serving a search warrant inside this North Portland home. I'm Mark Lazuski. The details coming up. Uh, starts right now. Now, Fox 49 News at 10. The day a radical environmental group planned a news event protesting the arrest of an ELF member, the FBI raids the home and business of their spokesman. Good evening. I'm Stephanie Fisher. And I'm Eric Schmidt. Thanks for joining us tonight. Portland police were concerned that a local press conference today and a rally in support of a Minnesota activist accused of spiking trees might turn violent. But that news conference went off without a hitch and a judge postponed the trial of Frank Ambrose. And federal agents raided the home of two spokesmen for the Earth Liberation Front. The group had planned a day of direct action to protest the arrest of Ambrose. Fox 49's Mark Lazuski says the raid filled the ELF spokesman with frustration. <laughs> FBI agents and Oregon State Police brought out box after box of seized items from this North Portland home, which housed the press office for the North American Earth Liberation Front. Agents served a search warrant in connection with the arson investigation of last weekend's Carlot fire in Eugene that destroyed or damaged 35 SUVs. The ELF believes another group is responsible. The Earth Liberation Front press office, which I'm a part of, received an anonymous communication from those who claim to be responsible explaining why they did that. But the underground ELF admitted to starting a fire Monday that targeted Nike and its factory outlet store in Albertville, Minnesota. It's because of their sweatshop practices, because of their um, involvement in the globalization process, um, as we've seen at uh, WCO and all the rest of that. In a written statement, Nike says the arson attempt is only the latest in what is a disturbing trend among certain activists who are forsaking productive and constructive debate and dialogue in favor of terrorism. Terrorism is unacceptable no matter how noble the underlying cause. In all the actions that have been claimed by the Earth Liberation Front, not a single individual has been injured. And that's not a coincidence. That's because they take the utmost precautions to prevent injury to humans. Agents also made their way to the Southeast Portland building where Craig Roseborough operates a bakery inside. They confiscated a list of items and also served a search warrant on Roseborough himself. As for what agents would find... There will be probably copies of communications because we do keep files on all the ELF actions in North America. Uh, so in that regard, yeah, they'll find those, but that's all public information. If there's, you know, top secret information, no, they're not going to find that. There's, there's nothing we have. I've been, again, haven't been uh, convicted nor charged with any sort of crime related to the Earth Liberation Front whatsoever. It's nothing more than harassment. I would certainly hope that there'd be some retaliation of some kind. Spokespeople for the ELF believe the group is far from giving up. I would think and assume from the pattern I've seen that these actions are going to increase, they're going to get more frequent and uh, more severe. In North Portland, Mark Lazuski, Fox 49 News. ELF spokesman Craig Rosebra also received a subpoena to appear before a grand jury regarding the Eugene Carlot arson fire. Meanwhile, the underground ELF has declared April 19th as an International Day of Action. That's also the anniversary of the explosion of the federal building in Oklahoma City and the end of the Waco standoff. Environment. Eric? Well, Jeff, there was no shortage, of the, uh, no shortage of information for the FBI in there. According to its occupants, the list of attacks is a part of public information that the FBI already has. But, wow, what a list. When it comes to destruction and damage, the ELF backs up its message with flames. Over the years, the ELF has cost its Oregon victims plenty. Victims like those at this Detroit Ranger station set ablaze in October 96. $15,000 damage. Or more recently, this Boise Cascade office in December 99 in Monmouth. A million in damage here. Then there is the Superior Lumber Company in Glendale. $400,000 worth of damage done in January. The strategy is simple. Lash out at so-called environmental offenders until they change their ways. The victims are companies big and small. Yeah, they should be taking the Earth Liberation Front seriously. The Earth Liberation Front is threatening what they stand for, and they stand for the destruction of the environment for profit. 
The organization and their attacks are national in scope. Over in Minnesota, the ELF has just taken responsibility for an arson attempt at this Nike outlet store just outside Minneapolis. There wasn't much damage, but the message was as clear as the attack was blatant. The goal is to destroy property. The goal is to cause economic damage to try and again provoke and force these different entities who are bent on destroying the environment for their own greed to stop doing that. And according to the organization, the damage will intensify. Right now, the FBI is investigating the loss to this car dealership in Eugene. Several SUVs burned to a crisp, another million dollars up in smoke. I would think and assume from the pattern I've seen that these actions are going to increase, they're going to get more frequent and uh, more severe. The April 5th day of action may have been a missed opportunity, but the ELF says there will be plenty of action in the future. The ELF takes responsibility for 20 incidents of arson since 1996, six of them in Oregon. Back to you. Okay, thanks. Eric Taylor reporting from outside that.